Hello everyone, I got a different video for you today. I'm actually making a tutorial how-to video, so hopefully you'll enjoy. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Did you think it was going to fly to Valhalla? This is a personal video because I'm dealing with a problem that I never thought I would have to deal in my whole life, and that is dealing with mice. You see, for most of my life, I actually lived in an apartment building and we had no mice problem there. But now that I live in a house, mice can be a huge, huge problem. And they usually happen to appear around autumn. You see, when it gets cold outside, every creepy crawly, including mice, they want to go from outside, inside. And while mice are really cute and adorable, they look a little bit like pet hamsters, in fact, if you manage to catch one, you might actually think about keeping it as a pet. They're actually a big, big issue. And they should not be ignored. So number one, they carry a lot of diseases, including salmonella. And if they manage to get in your kitchen, they can actually contaminate your food. And it might get you and your family sick. Another problem is that when they're going through the walls, they might actually chew on an electric cable. It happens rarely, but it can happen. And that is a fire hazard. And of course, they can also chew various uh, support beams. They can destroy your house. So even though they look cute and adorable, you should never ignore mice because they can do a lot of damage to your house. And if you ignore them from a single pregnant mouse, you can end up with having hundreds of mice infecting your home within a couple of months. So what is the solution for this? Because they're very difficult to catch considering the fact that usually they're within the walls. Now, before even trying to control their population, you need to figure out how they're getting inside. And mice manage to get inside through holes as small as a coin. So you need to look at your house and whatever you see places that have the size of a coin that might actually enter your home, you need to start fixing those because even if you manage to control the population, you're not going to put a dent in if more mice can come in. So you need to start plugging every single hole and only afterwards should you actually worry and focus on getting rid of the ones that you have inside. Now there's many methods that people try to do it. Some people will try using humane traps and humane traps are kind of interesting in a way because, well, you catch the mouse and then you release it. But you need to make sure that you move it at least three miles away from your home and hopefully you're not releasing it where there's other houses because what you're doing is that you're just giving it to your neighbor. So try to release them on a field and take into account that just because you do this doesn't mean the mouse will survive. First of all, the reason it's in your house is because of the heat. So they don't want the cold. But secondly, mice are social creatures. So if you just take one and you release them in a field, they're probably not going to be able to survive. They're probably going to get eaten by a predator. So while you feel that you're doing something good because the mouse is cute and adorable, you're actually just going to make it suffer by releasing it in a place that it doesn't know and it's going to be eaten by a predator nevertheless. Now, other types of traps that people can use, and these are very effective at catching mice, they're also very, dare I say, problematic, are glue traps. Glue traps work very well, especially if you know where the mouse is going. In places where you see mice droppings, you can put the glue trap there, you can put a little bit of food, or if you know where the mouse is coming into the house from, you can put the glue trap underneath. The problem is that it's incredibly inhumane. I mean, think about it. The mouse is just going to get stuck there, and it's going to die because of dehydration or lack of food. I mean, surely there must be more humane ways of dealing it. So if you are going to use a glue trap, figure out what you're going to do with the mouse. Don't just leave it there so it, it can die like that. Either use some oil to set it free in a box and move it outside or like do something with it. Don't just let it suffer uh, for uh, days until it passes away in, in horrible agony. It's, it's not, you know, like I understand they bring the problem to you. And they're vermin, so you should protect your home, especially for the reasons I mentioned above. But that doesn't mean you have to be inhumane about it. Now, one of the ways that a lot of people have asked me, because I love cats and they, they keep asking, is a cat a solution to fix a mouse problem? And surprisingly, the answer is yes and no. 
So it depends on the cat and it depends on the mouse problem. If the mice are within the walls, it's very unlikely that your cat is going to go in the walls after them. So what your cat can do, however, depending on how bad the problem is, is that it can try to hunt the mice outside of the home or inside of the home. But here comes the issue. As I mentioned before, it depends on the type of cat you have. There are many cats, especially the ones that are homebred and they never go outside, who aren't interested in hunting. And with these cats, you might actually have the mouse going right next to the cat. And if the cat is well fed, if the cat is bored, it's not even going to try to hunt the mouse. So take into account if you want to buy a cat in order to fix your mouse problem inside the home, you might actually end up spending money for nothing because the cat isn't going to hunt them. However, and this is very interesting, you can use the cat litter and spray it around the house as well as next to the places where mice is usually gather and the mice will avoid those places because they are instinctively afraid of cat smell. And, and if they smell the, the urine of the feline, which is why the cat actually buries its stuff in the litter box, is precisely so that the prey, aka the mouse, doesn't get to smell it. So what you can do is you can take the litter and spray it around your trash cans, your garbage, around your house, outside, and that's going to keep the mice away. That's a very good way a natural way of repelling mice from your house so they can go to the neighbor and bother them. Also, make absolutely sure that in your kitchen, everything is sealed. Uh, you make sure that there's absolutely no food available. But more importantly than food is make sure that there is no water available. Because mice can live without food for a longer period of time and they can find things to eat that you wouldn't even think about. But they need water. And if they don't have access to water, they're going to either try to leave and find different places or you will thirst them out. Now, talking about getting a cat and hunting mice outside might be a good idea. Uh, cats are excellent at decimating the population of pretty much anything that's smaller than them. And that would include mice, birds, rats, whatever you have around your house. Uh, cats are really good at genociding a uh, population of unwanted critters sometimes even wanted ones, but there is a type of cat which might cause a bigger problem. And I have heard numerous people having this issue where a cat manages to catch a mouse, sometimes a pregnant female, and then it brings it in the house. And the cat plays with the female mouse, and the female mouse manages to escape, and is hiding somewhere under your sofa or in your kitchen, under the sink, and it gives birth. And all of a sudden, you have a mouse infestation thanks to the cat that you brought to fix the problem. So if you want to have like a cat that is spe specified on hunting mice around your home, you need to make sure that cat doesn't have the habit of bringing stuff inside the home, which most cats do. And if that's the case, and you want a cat specialized in catching mice, make sure you don't allow it in the house. Make sure you don't have a trap door. Make sure... The cat can only come in if you let it in, and you can see that it doesn't have anything in its mouth so that it can bring you home a present. So to recap, the most important thing to fix a mouse problem is, first of all, take it seriously. If you have one mouse, you probably have ten. Secondly, make sure you cover up every single hole that can lead from the outside into your house. Thirdly, make absolutely sure that everything in your kitchen is sanitized, it's clean, uh, don't leave food out in the open and make absolutely sure that the kitchen sink is being wiped clean and it's not wet at all at all times. And then use cat litter in order to spray around your house, your garbage bin, anything that can attract mice. And if you want a cat to catch mice, don't expect it to catch it in the homes. In fact, traps are much better than cats at catching mice in the home. Use the cat outside the home to catch the mice. And make absolutely sure you don't let the cat in unless um, it's under your supervision and it doesn't carry uh, various animals. So keep windows closed, keep doors closed. Don't have a, a way for the cat to come in unless you absolutely see the cat and it doesn't have anything in its mouth. 
Let me know what you guys think. I hope this was a little bit more of an interesting video, but I was trying to find this information to deal with my own problem so that uh, uh, I, I thought that maybe other people are, are having an issue with this and this is a video that can help them. And if this video helped you, then please share it around. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I'll see you all there. Take care.